I would now like to welcome on stage Omar Diouf, founder of BDML. When I learned about his exceptional life journey from, from being a professional soccer player to a chef and now a restaurant owner, I was simply mesmerized. Welcome, Omar. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm here to present today uh, the Damel, which is uh, the only West African and South American fusion restaurant in the country. Uh, we all have a restaurant, we have food truck business, and we have ghost kitchen and also frozen products like empanadas that you see in the picture. Next slide, please. So I am Omar Juf. I was born in Senegal in a small town called Mehe in the West Africa. And uh, I, like I, like you said, I traveled to Argentina to play soccer after I attended law school in Senegal. And uh, this, school, this soccer didn't go through. So I went to culinary school instead and opened my first restaurant in 2008 in Argentina, where I started learning and cooking empanadas. And then I, I also um, went to Brazil to live for six years, works for the Olympics and works also for the 2014 uh, World Cup, cooking for the athletes like NBA. And I moved to this country in 2016 where I started my first uh, company here in 2017, which was a catering, Afro-Brazilian catering that grows to the Dammel that was incorporated in 2019, my first restaurant in the, in the country. Next slide, please. So our menu feature um, everything between the West African food and the South American cuisine. And the most, one of the most popular dishes, like I said, is empanadas. But we also have dishes like acarajé, which is street food in Brazil, mukeka and bibi, which is a very popular street food in Senegal, and also the very well-known acai bowl that we have a lot of varieties. Next slide, please. So uh, our main goal today, uh, our short-term goal, is to uh, create a commissary kitchen where we can produce our frozen food, produce our packaging sources, and also centralize our kitchen and so we can distribute our food in 10 minute radius to the other spots that restaurants that we are about to open and we need the investment of five hundred thousand dollars to start this and, uh, and and grow the business our long-term goal is to be at 10 location at least at the end of 2000, uh, 2022 and this location can be anything from a food truck or a kiosk in an airport or or anything that's actually can um, just uh, be closer to the customers. Next slide, please. So last year we made six, you know, our first full years in business. By the way, we made six hundred twenty k, and today we are tracked to make over almost nine hundred k by the end of twenty twenty one. And with the location we're about to open and the central the centralizing our kitchen, we are going to be grow thirty five percent. And our next uh, in 2023, we're expecting to have over 1.2 million in sales. Next slide, please. Yeah, so that's that's all I have for today and I'm waiting for any question. Thank you. Thank you, Omar. That is impressive. And I'm absolutely craving some delicious empanadas right now. 